What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be kind of a quick video. I just wanted to do a little announcement on the new release of Recall Box. This is Recall Box 6.0, codenamed Dragon Blaze. As of making this video, Recall Box 6.0 has been out for about a week and a half, and I've been testing it on my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and my PC. I got a 64-bit PC running Recall Box x86. I will leave a link to their website. This is available for the Raspberry Pi 1, the Raspberry Pi 0, Raspberry Pi 2, the 3, the 3B+, 64 or 32-bit PCs, Odroid XU4, Odroid C2. And if you're interested in downloading an older version for an RK3399 board, like the Rock Pro 64, they do have some older releases at the bottom of their download page. So the Rock Pi 64 and the Rock Pro 64 are RK3399 boards. The other two listed here use a different Rock chip set. But overall, Recall Box 6.0 has been very stable on my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and my PC. Recall Box has come a long way since it was released. It's a very beautiful interface. It still uses Emulation Station, and most of the cores in the background are LibRetro cores, just like RetroPie. And I personally think that Recall Box is easier to use than RetroPie for beginners, so if you're just starting out with the Raspberry Pi and emulation, I definitely suggest checking out Recall Box first. Once you get the hang of this, you could move over to RetroPie if you need to. But Recall Box pretty much does everything that RetroPie does. The change log for 6.0 is pretty extensive. You can access it from the Recall Box download page. There's a lot of fixes, a lot of improvements, and they've added some new cores. I've just picked out a couple notable changes, but I definitely recommend going to check out the full change log because there's a lot of stuff in there. First things first, and this is very important to a lot of people. The built-in screen scraper has been disabled. It needs to be rewritten. If you've messed around with Recall Box or RetroPie in the recent months, you know that the built-in screen scraper just hasn't been working. Hopefully this can be fixed in RetroPie and Recall Box soon because it's been very annoying, but there are ways around this. There are external screen scrapers that will scrape all of your games inside of Recall Box while it's running on the Pi from your PC. My personal recommendation on this is hold on to all of your artwork and XML files so you can just put them right in here. You'll have a box art folder full of box art and you'll also have a games list XML from previous builds that you were able to scrape with. That's what I do. I have a separate hard drive with all of my artwork and games list XML, so I never have to scrape again. Next up, multiple emulators have been updated and cores have been updated to the latest versions. Support for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and the Compute Module 3. They've also raised the max allowed temperature of the Raspberry Pi 3. I believe it's set at 70 now instead of 60, so you're going to get a little better performance out of it until it hits that temperature threshold. I've done a video on this in the past. I showed you how to manually do this, but now with Recall Box 6.0, it's already set in stone. Cody's been updated to 17.6. There's also been some fixes with Cody and controllers not launching it. They've added support for the Mayflash GameCube adapter. Emulation Station has improved image loading. They've added 7-zip file support for many of the Libretro or RetroArch cores. And this is something I've been waiting for for a long time. Usually I had to unzip them or turn them into RARs. But now they do have support for 7-zip files when you're using them with RetroArch or Libretro cores. Whatever you want to call them. And finally, the Pokemon Mini Libretro core has been added. So we have Pokemon Mini support. Now there's not a lot of great games for Pokemon Mini. But it's really awesome to have in your collection. Like I mentioned, I just picked a few out of the change log. There's way too many to go through in this video. So definitely give it a look. All right, so while I'm here, I already have this installed on my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I just want to show you some of the features that are built into Recall Box that aren't in the latest version of RetroPie, at least not right now, but they might be added later on down the road. One of my favorites here is changing the region. So I have Mega Drive listed. I'm from the United States. This was known as the Sega Genesis in the States. I want this to say Genesis. This will also work with PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16. Press start on your controller, scroll down to UI settings, we're going to go all the way down here to theme configuration, and we're going to change it from Europe to US. You can also change it to Japan if you want. Close, it's going to do its thing in the background, and when I come back, my Mega Drive will be switched to Sega Genesis. Same thing with TurboGrafx-16 or PC Engine. Very easy to do in here. You don't have to go into the terminal or anything like that. It's already pre-baked into Recall Box. Next up, Recall Box has easy overclocking built in. I'm on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I'm just going to press start on my controller. Advanced settings. Overclock. I'm sitting at the stock speed. 1.4 gigahertz. 
We can go to high, 1425, 1450 for turbo, or extreme at 1500 MHz. Now you could also do this manually if you want to get a little more, like 1550 if your pile handle it. But it's right here in the menu for extreme, 1.5 gigahertz. I'm going to make sure that's chosen. Click close. It's going to have to reboot. Another thing you might have noticed when I rebooted my system, we had a startup video. There's several built in and it will randomize them for you. A lot of them look really cool. So that was region switching and overclocking. I'm now running at 1.5 gigahertz on my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. There's also built-in front-end music. Now you can switch this out if you want to. I have mine turned off. You can turn it on. Very easy to use. I just want to show you two more little features built into Recallbox before I get out of here. Easy external drive use. So you can use a USB drive or an external hard drive. Just press start on your controller, system settings, storage device. Now I'm using a one terabyte USB 3.0 drive here with all of my games on it. I can swap this to any external, internal, or if you have a USB drive plugged in, let's say it's named USB 32. It'll be listed in the storage device. This is my one terabyte drive. It's called NUC. Really easy to use external drives with Recall Box. And finally, super easy updates with Recall Box. Press start on your controller, updates, you can have check for updates on or off, stable or custom. I just leave it on stable. When there's a new build available, it'll let me know and I can download it and install it here as long as this Raspberry Pi is connected online. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I just wanted to give you a heads up on the new release of Recall Box 6.0. I think it works really well on my Raspberry Pi and PC. And we also have that new Pokemon Mini support. Just go down here. Like I said, the screen scraper isn't working and I didn't have anything ready for this. These Pokemon mini games aren't going to appeal to everybody, but it's pretty awesome to have them in your collection. And now that Recall Box natively supports them, why not add them? They don't take up much space at all. It'd be really cool if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out the description for the recall box links. But like always, thanks for watching.